Yo, what's good? I'm back on the going, I hope. I know it's actually been a while. Roblox was down for like three days, four. I don't even remember how long it was. But yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Roblox um, Bedwars thumbnail. So yeah, let's jump right into this video. So this is going to be, I hope, simple and short video. If it's going to be long, I'm going to like make it two parts. So yeah. So as you can see here, I started with three simple characters. Uh, you can try them out, I guess. The first thing I'm going to do is type in the search Bedwars. Wait for this to load. And I found this map I actually liked. As you can see, it's pink, emeralds, everything we actually need. And there's actually even more maps you guys can use like this one. Let's wait. Just like this. You can use any map you want, but I'm going to be using this because I like the color pink. So I'm going to export this and go into Blender. Now we're not done yet. What I need to do now is actually go and type Bedwars Swords. Because we actually need that. Custom Swords. And from here you can choose or pick whatever you want. I'm going to pick the Iron. Rays. Actually no, Iron, Emerald and Diamond. Group this together. And export this and I'm going to see you guys now in Blender. Now that you guys actually made it into Blender. I actually have custom rigs, not custom, but I rigged um, the rigs of like the Bedwars um, thing here, I think it's called. I don't even remember, Roblox Bedwars rig basically. So I have the diamond, emerald, everything you need. So this is going to be linked down in the description for you guys to use. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is like import a, like three rigs, diamond, emerald, and iron. And I'm going to see you guys in a few minutes. Once you're finished actually and putting your avatars, putting in skins and stuff. What I still have to do is input the map, which I'm gonna do right now. There we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring these characters up. So that we have a better perspective of what we're dealing with. From what it looks like, the map is actually pretty big, so I'm actually gonna go down the map, not the characters. And the reason is sometimes when the map is way too big and you try and resize your characters, the map is actually going to start glitching out all the characters. So I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to upscale them up just a bit. Maybe like this, yeah. Now I'm going to add a camera. And let me find a good position for this. I'm actually lower down the focal lane. Maybe 43. Right here, maybe right here would be good. Set it to forty, maybe. And just position this as quick as I can. Actually, no, maybe like this, right on the bed. So what I'm going to do, I have a person right here. Let me just position him. Oh, whoops. Where is his? Okay, there we go. I'm going to bring him up a bit. And I'm going to have him like, not squatting just like this standing and I might bring the camera just behind him see how it look yeah just like this maybe just a little bit more the focal line and for these characters, I'm going to have him. Maybe just over here. Okay, let me do like this. And I'm going to have them like sort of like a team. And we'll also bring this guy up. I'm 
gonna have this person building up. Yeah, I'm gonna have this person building up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to Roblox Studio, move them up, and I'm gonna type Bed Wars Blocks. Bed Wars Lucky Pack, let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm gonna search for wool. There we go. So let me find this. Okay, blocks. Oops, where is it? Okay. Then we're gonna need to look for the wool. I'm gonna use yellow, maybe. Yeah, green, why not? I'm gonna export this. Make a new folder. Name it block. Go back to Blender. Click import. OBJ, go back, lock, and import. That's gonna be down here, so I'm gonna move it up. Now, as you can see, the origin is legit white, like over there, like the word center. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the block, then click Shift plus S, click Cursor to Active. Now, the cursor is gonna be over here. Go to Object, Set Origin. An origin to 2D cursor. So now it's going to be right here. Now, if it's not that centered, what I do is this. I just move it to the center. As you can see, now it's centered. So I'm going to scale this block up. Just have it below his feet. Just like this. Maybe right here. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate this block for him to hold. And for this block, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this range, gonna add modifier, then click array, set the Y to negative one or negative one, maybe. Let's see how I look in the run. You know what? Let's load this to 0.9 and just click, click, click and have it just right there and bring up the character. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna set the Y to 0 and set the Z, Z to 1. Oh, I'm gonna set it to 0.9, just like this. There we go, now we sort of have like this cross that we can now make him like walk. I'm gonna position him like this. You have him right on the edge. So now I can move this pill block to his hand. Go it down, rotate it. And then bring it up. You know what? Yeah, just like this. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this again. Remove the away. Bring it down. Looks maybe way bigger than the original map, but that's okay. Just gonna do this one. <clears throat> Set it to point nine. Also make him across and have him walk through it. I'm gonna have him actually running towards. So to make a run towards, very simple. Do is make them straight like this. I 
talking about him looking straight at him. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna duplicate this block from his hand. There we go. Just set it right here. So it looks good. And we're done with this part. So what I'm gonna do now is actually import some of the sword. So let me find it. Put it to maybe. Yep, there we go. So I'm gonna do split by group. Go straight to it by clicking um delete on your number pad or period, whatever that is. Followed by selection and I'm gonna set the origin to the sword bottom. Cursor to active, the origin to 3D cursor, and the same for all of these. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Oops. There we go. I'm gonna move the swords towards them. I'm gonna have him holding a diamond sword. maybe there you go I'm gonna give him his iron sword okay then I'm gonna give him the last person his almost this is how they look and they're gonna look and just give it to him. And actually, is there any problems with this? Yeah, there is. Let me see this. Like all I'm gonna do is click this edge thing, click this part, and click this part, and click F. Just quickly fix it. Now we have it like this, now shade flat. And there we go, we fixed it. Actually, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use it just for this video. You guys can find another ammo, so that's much better than this. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna be using this. Have him holding it just like this. And we're done with the posing and positioning part so I'm gonna move him up a bit actually you know what nope I'm gonna keep him right there now I'm gonna fix this so everyone is just exactly in the GFX move him up a bit let's see how it looks I might bring the camera up a, just a bit and we should be good and with the positioning of swords cactus blocks and everything next part is actually going to be lighting and photoshop so because i don't want this video to be so damn long the next part should be up right now right now so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the second part peace